And so I do the warm-ups, you know, and I just, just I start playing slow, and I just do it, get harder and harder, and I do it for about 45 minutes, and then I'm really warmed up, and I feel like then I don't have to worry about the, the physical aspect of playing getting in the way of whatever I want to do. Can I see that particular pattern again? Uh, it's the right hand slower. Or the right so hand. It's that they can... Uh... Good luck. It's really easy, you know? It's really a simple thing. It just kind of looks fancy. And, you know, sometimes it sounds good and sometimes you sound like an overindulgent jerk. You just have to know when to do it. It takes uh, a lot of practice and uh, hard work, but like you say, it's easy. Yeah, but I, I mean, you know, it. nothing that you play can ever be, you can never play a single note that's good if you don't have lots of love in your heart for things that are pure and beautiful. I mean, even if you're like a, a guy that, that's not pure and beautiful um, himself or a girl that's not pure and beautiful herself because they've done things that they've lied to themselves or lied to other people and so their soul is not as pure and as happy as it could be if they just actually have a true love in their heart for things that are really you know righteous and, and uh, they're not um, mean or cruel people and they mind their own business then they can be a good musician but unless you're all of those things and, and you're you know, you have love in your heart. You can't play good unless you have real love in your heart. T Bone Burnett um, once T. told me, you know T, mm -hmm. that that the, the the word that we all need to remember is generosity. Uh huh. That's right. And, uh, you have to be generous to be able to play. And yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Know. Well, to play in a band, it's like. That's why I even feel silly doing this thing and saying, you know, look, I can play bass and I'm pretty bitchin' and I do this and that. Because it all means nothing if you can't get together with other people and play to other people, with other people. Mm -hmm. And that's the whole thing, is listening to other people and playing with other people. And you can't ever listen or play with other people unless you love them. Unless you have, like, really true, sincere love. It means nothing. Because you can't even be angry and have true hatred, which is also an important thing to playing, unless you have real love. Mm -hmm. So that's the deal with that. time that I ever play with a pick is if I have a pick in my hand. And I don't have one now, so I can't play with one. But if you have a pick, you just go like that. <laughs> if you have fingers, you go like that. I mean, um, I don't, the only time I ever used a pick was it's when I was playing in fear, light. and they told me I absolutely had to play with a pick. And I had to play all downstrokes and go like this. No upstrokes. You know? No, you weren't allowed to do upstrokes. That was considered wimpy in punk rock. Really? Or in the fear style of punk rock. If you put, if you went like this, like if you had a line to go bibba dibba 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 and you went like this, you were, you know, not cool. But if you went like this until your, you know, your penis popped off, you know, I can't even do it now. I used to play it all the time. Then you're cool because, you know, then you, because then you separate every note. That all the note, when you go up and down, you're like ba 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 ba. But if you go all straight, all down strokes, then you go ba 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 ding 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 So, you know, but I really don't use a pick unless I have to. Like sometimes I use it to do this once in a while. What did I use it for? I think it was really cool. I probably can't even remember it. It was just like a. And I can't even remember what it is, and that's probably not it. And I never use a pick anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, I so think you can get the same sound as a pick if you just play back here, you know? And Where the strings are taut. I have to admit, I do like the sound of a, a good hard pick on a bass every yeah, once I mean, in a while. Yeah, I mean, you know, so a lot of my favorite bass players used picks, you know? Use picks. I mean, um, there's certain people like I think the guy in Fugazi, Joe Lally, who's such a great oh, yeah. bass player. He plays these really cool, like big, warm, round-sounding, almost reggae-like bass lines 
and he uses a pick, you know, and it sounds cooler than hell. So, you know, it doesn't really matter if you use your picks and your fingers. I mean, if you have something cool to play, then you're going to play it, you know, whether you, you beat your shoe on the bass or something. Well, guitarists that go to bass uh, have, have a real hard time getting off the yeah. pick. And plus, I mean, one of the greatest bass players of our time, Sid Vicious, used to pick. So, Flea, let's cover the fingers. Let's the cover technique. all of the fingers. All the fingers. Not okay. just these fingers. Let's start with all the fingers. Okay, well, there's these two fingers, and as we've said before, what we like to do with these two fingers is walk up and down the strings. We alternate the fingers, right, left, right, left. You see, there you go, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Everybody knows that. I mean, if you start playing a bass, you learn that. And then, you know, you start becoming more graceful with it as you go along, and, you know, you just do it. You, you, you know. Um, Ja Wobble's a great bass player. If any kid cares about uh, being a good bass player, he should uh, listen to Ja Wobble. Being a good or electric she. bass player. Or she. She or he. Oh, because there's so many great... One of my the biggest influences on me of a bass player, there's a band called Defunct, which was a, a huge influence on, on the Red Hot Chili Peppers, on uh, really turning us on to the whole funk thing. And the bass player in that band was a girl named Kim Clark, and she's so great. And of course, there's Kim Gordon. I wonder why it is that girls that play bass are called Kim. It must be some sort of cosmic thing. What's the talking head girl's name? And Tina Weymouth. That's right. All those good girl bass players. Like so the fingers, the fingers. So there's this one, you know, and. Are there any exceptions where, would you ever go, is it always left, right, left, right? Um, I always do it left, right, left, right, because it seems to be the most convenient way to do it, and it's just the way I always do it, I don't know. But I mean, I'm sure there's other ways to do it. You know, like I say, some people use all their fingers. And another thing is to use the, uh, you can use your thumb, which I do once in a while, you know, I'll be like, uh, use my thumb and these fingers, and. So some people use a pinky too? Um, probably. Wow. They probably do use their pinky. But some guys are just so slick when they use all three fingers, you know, and they can just go whenever they want. They do crazy bone. guys. Fishbone? Norwood? I heard the greatest Norwood bass lines the other day on the new Fishbone album that they haven't made yet. Norwood's such a great bass player. But um and okay, so the the plucking thing. You know, and also, you know, you can use it like kind of, I think it's called arpeggiating if you play, you know, like that, you know, and. that and uh, there's another thing I was thinking oh to do with fingers that I do sometimes is I you know use both strings and hit two strings at the same time like that here I'm hitting the D string and a G string at the same time and then if I go like that you know then I could go some kind of Indian or something kind of Middle Eastern mode or something or other. But, um, you know, I'm just hitting two strings there and using the open string. And using the open string is always nice, you know, when, if you're playing, like I think earlier when me and Chad were jamming, I was doing something like using the D open string, like I was playing this fast popping thing uh, in D, you know, like something like that. Or, and if you hit, and so you, you know that I'm playing in the key of D, so that whole D open string, you can always kind of slip it in there and just, you know, pull off the open string like. So 
So, you know, I'm doing that little deal there. And, um, you know, on the two notes at once, we did that, you know. Feels good. Sounds good. Yeah. Now let's let's address your uh, left hand. The left hand is pretty simple. I mean, you know, there's the exercises to make it stronger and stuff, and you just press down on the on the bass there. <laughs> it's really a you know nothing unique about pressing down on the string to uh, change the notes. You know, because if you're playing like this, then you press down. Voila! You go to a different note. So. You know, and then it just boils down to you know what's eking out of out of your uh, your soul for what notes you're gonna you're gonna play when you press down there. And right now, at this very moment, I can't think of a single cool thing to play, but that could change in a matter of seconds. But when it does, I'll play something. Okay. Um, the fingers. Is there any other aspects of the fingers? There's something I also like to do with my my thumb sometimes. Is um, you know I'll be playing with a. You know we're doing something like that, and I'll just start hitting it like that. You know, it's like you know, a punk rocker with a pick. He might start going. You know, he would go like this. You know. Right. And I'll just start going. And just hit it, you know, and you could either hit one string with your thumb like that, or you could hit two strings, or three strings, or four strings. But so, you know, that's another way you can just hit it, or you could even just hit it with your hand, you know? Right. The attack then is, is really on the release. It's about you won't get that sound out until it's it's the release. Yeah, well you gotta hit it and you know you just gotta hit it. I mean if you just keep your hand there, then you're gonna be really crazy and you're gonna go. Exactly. And that's a great sound in itself. It is indeed. I could sit there all day and just go like this. Rock and roll. Rocking chair syndrome. Okay, a rocking chair. Dump truck driving down a road, loses brakes, goes off the cliff. Manic woman tripping on the umbrella. That was just the the, uh, the solemn manic woman just tripping on her umbrella. Okay. Uh, Clara goes to see the ducks at the pond. 